everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a small luxury motorhome. We are taking a look at the 2022 Georgetown GT7 model 32J7, which is either the best luxury motorhome I've ever seen or the worst luxury motorhome I've ever seen. It's such a unique floor plan. I'm super excited to show everybody. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Georgetown and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video again today i am super excited that we are taking a look at the georgetown gt7 but before i begin gotta say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everyone how's it going it's going good you guys we're here in texas and there is something special going on here what's that matt they're having a special why don't you tell them 43 days of 43 million dollars worth of savings they partner with nascar guys they're giving away a vip experience and they, they have the sale they got great prices on 23 but even better prices on 22s like this unit and so um you can also enter to win free tickets to the nascar race contest ends september 10th and andrea We'll have all the contest info down in the description below of YouTube. Without further ado, Andrea, let's begin. Model is Georgetown GT7. The actual tip tip length is 35 feet long. This isn't the Georgetown. It's not a GT3 or a GT5. It's the GT7. So it's their top of the line. It's gonna sit on the bigger chassis. It's gonna have full body paint standard. Nice big windshield right there. Look at these nice big LED lights. Now I hate the LED lights on the GT5. I am A-OK -okay with them on the GT7. Big oversized chrome lights. You got the chrome going on up there. This is a beautiful motorhome. Right up here we do have chrome mirrors on the left side and right side with your cameras integrated to the side right here. And Andrea, it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. That 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then right here, Andre, we just have a little doggy window right there. You know what? Maybe that's a kitty window because it's so small. And then look at these tires, Andre, and the Michelins. I love those. 235-80R22.5. Very nice with the shiny Alcoa rims. Coming on down, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. And then check out this storage. Oh, bada bing. Wow. Bada bing. Bada boom. Yes, ma'am, double storage. I'm actually really surprised you get these double doors on the aluminum doors like this. That's a very nice feature. Right here we have more aluminum slam latch doors. Very nice. Nice rubber gaskets right here to ensure that it shuts. And then check this out, mid-entry door. Now here's the thing, Andre, we do got power awning with LED lights and the slide out here and there is taking a lot from the awning space. Just is what it is. Interesting paint job. Interesting good or interesting bad? Interesting good. Yeah, I think it looks good. And then right here, Andre, is a propane quick connect. Water heater right there. They did continue the paint. Looks like it fell off. And so, uh, motorhome specialist, they get you a new one. Very nice. And then here, boom, we got the TV with the sound bar on the outside. What do you say? We'll say you. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. And then finishing up, we got more storage there. Okay. More storage there. Okay. And even more storage there, oh, Andrea. I didn't see that. This is a storage machine. Coming around the back, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Dang that, but Andrea, no ladder to get up on the roof. Oh, Come wow. Up. It is what it is. It is getting pretty hot, Andrea, to be climbing up on these roofs. Right there, you do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Nice rear tail light designs, again, with the chrome. Chrome on chrome, I'm loving that. Frameless windows, and you do have the backup camera there. Also, you do have fuel fill up in the rear. 
Man, Georgetown's stepping it up. They want to compete with the challengers. No, and Andrea. The bounders. Georgetown GT7 stepped it up. Yes, ma'am. Right here, we got more storage. And then here's your 50 amp power cord. And Andrea. Yes, ma'am. It is plugged in. Thank you, motorhome specialist. Right here, we have more storage. Wet and then, bay. yes, ma'am. Check this out. Here's your wet bay, city fill, black tank flush, potable water fill, potable, potable. outdoor shower. Right here, a little bit more storage. Okay. Right here, Andre, it's an Onan 7000 upgraded generator. I love that. I believe the 5500 standard 7000 the upgrade. Okay, other side of the storage. Yes, ma'am. Battery bank. Oh, oh, Matt bumped into the camera. No, the camera bumped into me. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Propane. And then your propane. And then Andrea right here. Bing. It's all the specs about this motorhome. Well, Andrea, it's time to beat the heat. The outside of this motorhome looks great. I don't even want to say the inside looks better. The inside looks different, and I'm super excited to show everybody. Let's be, let's take a look. Careful. After okay. you, Miss Andrea. Cargo carrying capacity. I'll get it. All right. Let's see what he's talking about. Huh. Very interesting. 1,915 pounds. Okay. This is very different. Wow, okay, so slides are in, but wow, even with both slides in, hmm. Not, Again, this not is too an bad. interesting layout. Yeah, not too bad right here. It does open up here. You could definitely open the fridge. Looks like the door. You can definitely get into the bathroom. The bed, oh no, can't use the bed with the slide in. But wow, very interesting. And Andrea, while we're getting the slide outs out, we want to remind everybody, sign up for the best app ever, RV Life. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's what's really exciting, Andrea. RV Life is going to be at the Hershey Show. So, they're doing seminars every single day at the Hershey Show. One, they have a display booth. Make sure you stop by. Also, make sure if you plan on going to the Hershey Show, you go to the RV Life seminar because it's going to teach you everything about RV Life even things that I don't know about RV Life. They're one of the best sponsors we've ever had on the show. Make sure you guys sign up for RV Life. Use our promo code, Matt's RV Reviews. What you get is a free seven day trial and 25% off. Andrea, I'm getting that final slide out, Al. Is this not an interesting layout? It is. I don't, I don't think I like it. <laughs> I'm telling you, listen. This is either an I love it or right. I hate it floor plan style. And it's really interesting. Here's what I will say. I do see a lot of things that I do like though. Right. And here's what I will say for how spacious it is. Um, like look at that bedroom. Like for how spacious it is, for how short it is, it's a really interesting layout. And I would love to hear the RV review crew's feedback on it. But Andrea, first, Let's start in the cockpit area. Andre, would you like to sit in the driver's seat? No? No, you go ahead and sit there. Um, I want to stand here right where the fan is. Head four. I'm going to sit up here, Andre. This is a nice 7.3 liter V8. You got the Ford steering wheel, everything that you know and love. Cup holders here, auto levelings here. I got good views of my mirrors, and I love this. This is my command center. I got all the buttons right here. Um, right here is your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Also, this is where you're seeing your left side, right side, and reverse side. And then Andrea. Stay wow. standing. I'm hopping over. Whoa. Well, that's not comfortable. There you go. That's a lot better. Look, you got a little phone holder or whatever you want to put there. Nice little desk area. It's not my favorite, but I will say it's not my least favorite. You know, you got your cup holders here. And then notice how a lot of times manufacturers will give you carpet here. This giving you the black diamond plate rock guard type of material with the um, little cubby right there. Here's what I will say. My seat is definitely more up than normal. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, they Very do swivel. Okay. 
And there is a pedestal table that goes right there. Yes, ma'am. They swivel to become part of the living area. Got storage. Yes. Okay. Storage, storage, and more storage. And then right over here, we do have a bunk over the cab. Very nice. Let's see if we can find this switch. Here it is. Hero loft. Look at that. Okay, I do see a Push ladder that can connect right there. I don't know the weight, I don't see it. I believe it's 500 pounds, Andrea. 500 pounds for the Euro law. That's the way that it is. It's all the way down right now. And then as Andrea said, it does come with a ladder somewhere in here. And a safety net. Yes, and here's awesome. the safety net. Very nice. And then Andrea, look at this dinette. You do not see that in very many motorhomes Where's like this. Where's the lights over there? Okay, right here. We do have our daytime shades and privacy shades. Very nice. And then right here. Sorry, Matt. Oh, Andrea, you're turning them all off. Well, those lights are not on right there. We'll find the switch. It's very dark. But right here, we push the button, Andrea, and the TV's coming up. I love this. Big TV. It is. Now, this table does extend, right? It sure does. Okay. The table. And it has two more chairs that will go with it. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see. Or no. Or it was extended. It was extended. Oh. So well, now that it's will make smaller. it. Yeah, that'll make it a lot easier when you have it in to get through. Right, right here we have storage here. Electrical outlet in there. And then the other side, we have storage as well. Okay. And then Andrea, here's the dinette. And here's what I will say. Uh, devil's advocate, okay? It's not a nice dinette and it's not nice table and chairs. It's kind of cheesy. But at the same time, I can move this completely around. I got a plenty of gut space to make it comfortable for me. And then directly across from the TV is the entertainment center. It's the Thomas Paine collection. All right, look at this. This is a nice three-seater sofa right here. Let's check this out. Oh man, Andrea, power recliner seats right there. Heated seats, massage seats, light up seats, and you even have the removable desk area. And then, oh yeah, look at this. Bam, pure Prisma power right there. Double cup holders here, two seats. This is very, very nice. And it even has that little thing there where you can have the tray. Yes, and right here, this third seat can also recline. And then above, we have not one, not two, not three, but Andrea, four huge storage cabinetry, which is very nice. Check out these valances, huh? Oh, Andrea loves those balances. It kind of looks like a 3D maze. It looks cute. You know what it looks like? It does look like a 3D maze. Have you ever seen those never-ending steps? It reminds me. Where people me. are like walking upside down and you know, it, it's just the steps that keep going. That's kind of what, what it looks is like. What game that Bella likes to play where she's building stuff? Oh, um, Mind Blocks or whatever. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yes, very nice. And something that we didn't even touch on is the huge double slide outs, which makes it a like a dance floor in here, Andre. Oh yeah, I, definitely. I feel like dancing. But before I feel like dancing, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $256,268, Andrea. That is MSRP. Sale price, motorhome specialist. Again, the $43 million savings has this one at $179,999. That is a fantastic sale price. But Andrea, if, you're, if you guys are interested in this motorhome, this one's probably gonna be sold by the time it comes out. But again, it doesn't matter if it's 22 or 23, we'll always be able to get you a great price. All you gotta do is go to matchrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're gonna make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, are you ready? Yes. Are you set? I'm ready. Then let's go take a look at this kitchen. Okay, look at this. We have cabinets. 
above. Very a nice. Solid surface countertop. A, a double farmhouse sink. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know if they needed all of it. Got a nice window. There's an extension there. Okay. And then underneath, we have more storage. Very nice. Okay. And then we have a uh, convection microwave, Furion. Okay. Cute backsplash. Look at that, it's kind of like a woven basket. basket. Yeah. yeah, it's very cute. And then we have an induction cooktop. I don't know why I've had such a hard time with this. Careful now. Oh, there it is. It's weird. Oh, and it's not oh, induction. Oh, sorry, it's not induction. It tricked me. We got a three burner propane Furion cooktop. Very nice. Residential style. All right, and nice, then, nice high end stove top cover. Yeah, that's for sure. For sure. All right, and then we have a oven. Look at this. Mm, very nice, nice. oven, very modern. We got three drawers, soft clothes. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay, one under here as well. Very nice. And then right here we have the residential um, LG refrigerator. And you guys, I'm not gonna sit here and mess with this because then you have to like get it all the way out. Okay, well they, we they know. know it's a huge fridge. It's and freezer and what do they got there? They got the water and ice maker machine. Very nice. Think. Think with a Q. And then, oh, look at this nice pantry. I like that. Or is it thin Q? Like, thank you. I don't know. I think it's think. Okay. And two more down here. And then uh, behind you, which is a little bit strange. Now, Andrea, what the heck's going on and over here? In the middle is just. A fireplace which produces you know a great source of heat off the electricity electricity right yep and then a mirror so it's just kind of weird just, yeah it's kind of weird right yeah okay Matt let's move on to the bathroom that's a very weird spot it really is okay on to the bathroom here we go now oh wow oh 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 no uh oh this is weird like an opposite radius shower. It's very little, but I mean, I guess. I mean, it works, yeah, but I don't the way like it's it. it's shaped. I do not like it. Andrea, Andrea, I do not like it. They catfished me. Take a look, take a look at what's going on there. Okay, so we got a medicine cabinet right here. Oh yeah. I do like this the rectangle sink with this modern faucet. Not only that, solid surface right. in there, which and is nice. Right, and then above here, we've got more storage. And then here as well. Wow. Okay, and they got one of the newer toilets, whatever you call them. Is that a think toilet as well? <laughs> no, that is the electric flush. What can I say? What can I say? It's a pee pee pee. This is a prime poop position. Bing, very nice. Okay, this is strange because it's kind of a little entry into the, the bedroom because yes. of this cabinet right here. These cabinets, check right, it out. look. So, I mean, it does give you a lot of storage here. You got like a, I don't know, I thought you could hang stuff in here, but no. No, but it's it's weird, the, the black diamond plate there. Right, and, and, and I want people, I mean, it's just, it's doable. It's just yeah. strange. Pocket door. Okay. And then right here we have, oh! Oh, stackable washer and dryer, Andrea. It's splendid. That sure is. Okay, and then over here we have the TV. Yes, ma'am. Reach wars. Are these soft clothes too? Wars. Yes, storage behind the TV. Very nice. Okay, and then uh, this is probably a wardrobe. Yeah. Very oh, nice. Goodness. Oh, wow. Big wardrobe. Another, out. Oh, sorry. And then right here, a little table right there as well. And then over here. Got a window. Yes, ma'am. And then here's the bed. The bed must tilt up for the slide out to come in. And, um, and then we do have windows there. And then we've got the weird cabinets. Little headboard, and then they did the weird cabinets. Like, they were doing so well, Andrea. I know. I don't know why they put these weird cabinets here. But right there, you do have power and a place for you to run a hose for a CPAP machine, okay. which is nice. Nice storage there and everything. So they give you nightstands too. They sure do. And there's probably not storage under the bed because it's a Correct. Up. Okay. Correct. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike, Andrea. What do we do first? Uh, let's do three things we dislike about it. First. Mm -hmm. May I? Sure. I'm in here. 
Andre, number one, don't like the tilt up bed. Especially don't like it because the bed has to be tilted up for the slide out to come in. And that just causes issues in my opinion. I don't like that, never have liked it. And you never will. Oh, say it again. You never will. One more time. Never will. <laughs> All right, that's just like number one, Andrea. What's this like number two? This like number two is gonna be this right here. What's that? This this cabinet. It's very weird. I do get that it's storage, but it just just takes up so much space from the doorway, and I think it's just awkward. Yeah, it's a weird placement of yeah, it. Yeah, it's just very awkward. Yes. Okay, Andrea, that's number two. Do you have a number third? I, I do, but it's it's not really that big of a deal. Talk to me. Talk I me. I think this is weird. I I, I concur. I, I think just. That's weird and random and out of place yeah i'm gonna combo that andrea i feel like it belongs in here you right. know right but i'm gonna combo that with um with this dinette situation oh hang on here's something that i do like this matches the balances i like it now no i'm just kidding uh i feel like this is a lot cheaper setup here and it doesn't look as good as a regular dinette well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. May I go first? Sure. Andrea, as much as I don't like this, I do like this. You can sit wherever you want. You can have the biggest gut in the world and you can still sit here comfortably at the dinette. You don't need to squeeze into a tiny dinette. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I really do like. And that is number one. Andrea, what's something that you love about this motorhome? I like that right there. This is what I like as the well. entertainment seating. Yes. Theater seats right here. Very nice. Thomas Paine recliner. Everything right here is super nice. And that's something that I really do love. That's number two. And then Andrea. Number three. You have a number three? I like the paint job on here. Not just that. The paint job's absolutely fantastic. But the interior square footage. Andrea. When you're looking luxury, you're looking at Tiffin Allegro's, Encores, Georgetown GT7s, Bounders, Bounders you don't, you know, Southwinds, um, South Bay Stars, you know, and they're all longer motorhomes, 37, 38, 39 feet. This is a small 35 foot tip to tip, but the manufacturer only costs us a 32. And to get this type of space is absolutely fantastic. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this motorhome, please check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We're going to hook you up with motorhome specialist or one of our partners on either this 22 or a 23. And we're going to make sure that we get you guys great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, what would you like to say? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Forest River, they do read the comments and they do watch the video. So please leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.